Howdy folks, welcome back to my channel. Uh, you will notice that we are not in our usual filming location today, and that is because they are doing some kind of work out front of where I live, and it's very loud and noisy where I normally film, and they've been doing this for a couple days now during the day, so uh, we're here at my little like try to get ready with me area. But the theme of my most recent videos seems to be across the board uh, becoming a body piercer and how to be a body piercer. And we just talked about how I would suggest going about being a piercer. That video was super in depth talking about apprentices and all this other stuff. And I felt like I should follow it up by discussing uh, one of the top ways not to go about becoming a body piercer, which is actually going to school. And you might hear that and you might think, Lynn, going to school, wouldn't a school for body piercing be a good thing? Wouldn't that be something that you want to do? Uh, and yes, if there were a great school for body piercing, 100%, that would be a great way to become a body piercer. The problem is that piercing schools are generally super, super, super terrible things. And let's look at why. So there are piercing schools all over the world. Um, I did some research before doing this video and I unfortunately am not sure the legalities of posting exact examples or like screenshots from websites of different schools. So uh, we're just not going to because a lot of them can be pretty sue happy. Uh, but I found some in the UK, I found some in Canada, and obviously some in America. And across the board, looking at all of them, the longest program that I found was two weeks long. And most of the programs I found were anywhere from three days to a week. So these schools are essentially saying that in three days to a week, maybe up to two weeks, they're going to teach you how to be a body piercer. And claiming that they're going to teach you everything that you need to know to do this career in literally three days to a week. And I get it. For someone at home who's looking to become a piercer, this seems like a great deal. You pay a flat rate. Uh, a lot of these costs into the thousands. Uh, you go, you take classes for whatever, a couple days, week, week or two, and now you're a piercer. How hard could it be? But I looked at a lot of these curriculums and a lot of them have students piercing on the very first day of class, which means you are not even spending one whole day learning about jewelry materials, sterilization, cross-contamination, bloodborne pathogens, setups, breakdowns, materials, supplies, skin prep, bedside manner, anatomy, none of that. They're basically just going, I don't know, wash your hands, don't reuse needles, all right, cool, now we're going to start piercing people. There's no foundational training given. There's no like fundamental basics covered and things like that. They're just launching people into the piercing aspect of it. And like that wasn't bad enough. Normally the people who are instructing these classes are not actually very good piercers. These are some anonymous photos that I pulled from the portfolios of two different instructors uh, who are list themselves as master piercers, as you know, good educators, the people who are teaching folks how to do piercings in these types of programs. So I'm just going to throw uh, a couple of these on the screen for you. Yeah, so as we can see, um, lots of low quality jewelry, uh, lots of really questionable angles and placements, uh, lots of unsafe piercings, we love to see it. Uh, and in looking at these schools, I didn't find any that were using actual like implant grade titanium, internally threaded, like high quality materials, because it doesn't work with the financial like plan of this school, right? Because in order to be able to afford to actually make a profit off of running this school and make a living doing it and like pay their teachers and stuff and charge what they charge, they're using externally threaded jewelry. They're using low quality jewelry. Um, it's the only way to make even a fraction of a profit on this. Um, and that is largely what they're using is low quality externally threaded jewelry. So you're not even being taught how to use the right jewelry to pierce with. And the craziest thing to me is just that people think that they can teach like an entire career in three days to a week to maybe two weeks max. I mean, hairstylists, masseuses, nail techs, 
basically everyone goes through more training, more time than that, especially when we're talking about working in the human body. I mean, I didn't even find many of these schools where having bloodborne pathogens training or CPR and first aid training was even a prerequisite to be at the school. These places are letting people work on people's bodies and leave and say that they're a certified trained piercer who've never even taken a bloodborne pathogens course, who don't know how to do CPR, and who don't know first aid. And you may be thinking to yourself, why would anyone do this? And unfortunately, it comes down to money. These are piercers who don't really care about their clients' health and safety and well-being, who see that there's so many people who want to get in the industry that not only can they make a profit as body piercers, they can make a profit promising to train people who want to become body piercers. So now they can make profit from two different places. And so they they hold these classes, they have these schools, and they charge these people to come and learn. And they make all of this money off of giving people the shoddiest, crappiest education. Um, it's because they don't want to actually take the time, the one to two to four years that it takes to properly train an apprentice to work with someone one on one to give them all of these education. They want to do whatever they can to make a quick buck. And they're like, I can teach someone to push a needle through some skin, kind of crooked, maybe straight sometimes in three days, and take a $1,000 from each of these kids and make a whole bunch of money. And it's really incredibly unfortunate because when ends up suffering at the end of the day is the people who got scammed by taking the class, yes. But the clients who go to see someone who says, oh, I'm a certified piercer, like I took classes, I'm trained. And the client goes, oh, okay, like I trust you. And it turns out their class was literally three days long and they don't even know how to properly sterilize the jewelry or clean the skin before piercing you. And now someone has a staph infection. <laughs> like if you wanted to become a doctor and you were looking down the pipeline of having to like get into med school and apply to all these places and then pass all the exams and then get a residency and then deal with everything in a residency and then someone was over here and was like hey I can teach you how to be a doctor in two weeks in my garage just give me 10 grand and you were like wow that's two weeks in his garage 10 grand that seems way more affordable than med school and way easier and faster um and if it seems too good to be true it usually is. So please, if you're thinking about getting into the industry, do not get taken advantage of by these schools that claim to teach piercing and things like that. Um, if it seems like you are getting your education way too quickly uh, in way too short a period of time and not everything is being covered, then it's, it's because that's actually the case. And you really do need to take the time to learn how to do this safely and correctly. And quite frankly, uh, a lot of studios won't even hire people who've gone to and supported these schools just because they get taught so many bad habits that then the studio has to unteach, uh, and it is genuinely less work for a studio uh, to just have an apprentice who has never done that. So we can start them off with a good education from the bottom and a good foundation rather than having to break down someone's bad foundation and then build new. Um, that is actually more work for a studio, so I completely understand why some studios prefer to take apprentices who don't have that um, because it is less work. Now that being said, I cannot discuss schools for piercings without discussing the Fakir Intensives. So the Fakir Intensives is a program that was started by Fakir Musafar. It's been up and running for over 25 years at this point, uh, and it operates out of California. And the Fakir Intensives are one week long courses about body piercing. There's a beginner's course and an advanced course. There might be an intermediate one. I don't know if they still do that. Um, and there also used to be intensives on like branding and other body modification work. Now, why the Fakir Intensive stands apart from these schools is that the Fakir Intensives has never claimed to be a school for body piercing. In fact, their instructors are all really amazing at the beginning of their classes about being like, this is not a school. Taking this class does not mean you know how to pierce people. It does not mean you can go be a professional piercer. It does not mean any of this stuff. It is just a week long intensives to do additional education. So what that looks like is a lot of studios will send apprentices to the Fakir Intensives at the very beginning of their apprenticeship. Or people who are hoping to get an apprenticeship and get into the industry will take the Fakir Intensives and add that to their resume, and that does really help someone look like a more promising apprenticeship candidate. And their more advanced intensives are actually for people who are already piercing. So for piercers who are already working in studios, already full-time piercers, who either need to improve their skills, maybe they didn't have the best apprenticeship or the best training, so they're going to the intensives and they can learn a lot of stuff that they didn't get, or piercers who are already very skilled and very 
very knowledgeable and very safe piercers, but maybe there's certain piercings that they were never specifically trained on or they don't get a lot of in their area, especially genitals. Um, so they can go to the intensives and take those classes to brush up on those areas of learning. Um, so I really love the way the intensives has structured this because they make it abundantly clear that they are not a school, that this is additional education. This is additional training that you get alongside your apprenticeship and your proper education for piercing. The other thing I really like about the intensives is they actually spend a lot of time on important information that is not just body piercing. Um, they spend a ton of time working with the people attending on things like safe practices, safe setups, sterile gloves, reprocessing, all of this stuff. Structures of the intensives are folks like Jeff Saunders and Cody Vaughn who have been teaching the working clean and working safe within your studio classes at APP conference for many years and are incredibly knowledgeable people when it comes to safe sterilization and safe practice. They're absolutely the people you want to be learning from and they teach at the intensives and they spend a lot of time really going over those fundamental things not just setting people up to shove needles through people right away so that is the exception to the rule and it it doesn't even fit the rule because they're not billing themselves as a school that's going to teach you how to pierce in one week the way that all of these other programs are the way that they market themselves and make it seem like you can take this one week-long class or three day long class and say that you're a professional body piercer the intensives is not doing that they are very clear about the fact that they're additional education or supplemental education that they're not this isn't your whole training to become a body piercer but I think it's really important to talk about this because a lot of these schools do a really, really good job of marketing themselves as like this magical new method of teaching um, or this piercer that's so experienced they can teach you in a short time or whatever it is that draws people in and gets them to unfortunately get scammed and spend their money there and not get the training and the education that they deserve. Given how difficult it can be to get an apprenticeship in the industry, especially at a good studio, I see why some folks eventually get discouraged and they turn to those programs because it sounds too good to be true. It sounds like they're a perfect foot in the door. And even when people know that these programs are kind of scammy, a lot of times after you've been waiting for a while to try and get an apprenticeship, it's really easy in your mind to justify and be like, okay, I'll just take my class. It'll get me a little foundation and like, this will help me get my foot in the door better. Um, and it really, really doesn't. It really, you have to get an apprenticeship right now to do it correctly. Now that's not to say there's not the potential for something like a school to exist down the line that's done well, that's done properly. That is absolutely something that I think could exist. Um, it's just not something that exists currently. And I have like spitballed about this with other piercers and couldn't even begin to tell you the logistics of making like an actual functional body piercing school happen and exist. But know that it is something that piercers talk about. Um, it is something that I think a couple people in the industry are like considering moving towards or working towards. Um, it's just it's just not something that exists currently. So please be careful if you're looking to get into the industry, not to get taken advantage of, not to get scammed. And if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. This week has been a lot of educational talk about getting into the industry and becoming a piercer. And there is going to be a little bit more about it uh, because the next video up on my channel is going to be talking about my thoughts and maybe potential plans uh, for sharing more education for piercers and folks in the industry and some ideas that I have had that I'm really excited to see your feedback on. So stay tuned. That'll be my next video up on my channel. And if you like these videos, uh, obviously it means the world to me if you can like and subscribe. And if you want to see me keep talking about getting into the industry um, and methods of becoming a piercer, let me know. And if you're tired of this and you want me to get back to just the regular piercing content, let me know that too. Have an awesome rest of your day and hopefully the next time we sit down and chat it is in my normal filming space because they are done doing whatever the hell it is they're doing outside of my house. All right y'all, bye.